Hey everybody, this is Danelle. Thank you for joining us. Today we are going to do part two of researching NFTs. So today we're going to go over how you can go more in depth when you're researching an NFT project and a project that you may be interested in investing in. We want to make sure that you are aware that NFTs are very risky investment plays. They are highly speculative as well as very illiquid, meaning that it can be very difficult to get in and out of trades and be able to sell your NFT. So it's very key to make sure that you're spending time to do your due diligence and to do your own research in deciding whether or not you're going to invest in a particular NFT. The market is still wide open. It's still definitely the wild, wild west. So we suggest that you do as much deep diving as you can before you even consider getting into the space. So today we are going to go through a project that we love called Aku. Aku is a character that was developed by Micah Johnson. He is an artist that used to be a professional baseball player. And after his nephew asked him if blacks can be an astronaut, he decided to come up with the Aku character. So Aku is a young black boy who dreams of being an astronaut. So you see here, there are a number of chapters. There were 10 chapters total, and they each have a different theme for each video. And we'll go through one now just to show you just a little piece of it. So as you can see, this chapter, which is the final chapter, showcases some of Micah's art. And so this NFT is actually a little different than a lot of profile picture NFT projects that you may have heard about that are very popular from Cool Cats to Board Ape Yacht Club to CryptoPunks. This is actually a video montage and each chapter is a video. So one thing you want to do first is look into the social media of that particular project or artist or collection. So with Aku, the artist is Micah Johnson, as I mentioned. And so we're going to go to Twitter. We are now on the Aku Twitter page. It's at Aku Dreams. And as you can see here, you can find out up-to-date information regarding the project and what's going on. The Akutars, the Mint Pass was just airdropped to holders of any of those 10 chapters. And what that means is you'll be able to get a free pass, which will then allow you to get a free Akutar. As you can see, this is a picture of one of the Akutars. This will be similar to the profile picture collections that many of you may already know about. So this is their profile picture, even though it has more of a 3D-ish type of look to it. A little different from some of the other Profile picture projects. There's Micah Johnson, who is the artist that created Aku. And you can get a lot of up to date information. As you can see, King Push, Pusha T, is a moon god. A moon god is somebody who owns all 10 of the chapters. So he is a part of the Aku Dreams family. And so there's more information about the mint passes. There are some mint passes that are going to be more rare than others, which are the mega OGs and the OGs. And then there are a bunch of random ones. So you have no idea what you're going to get. So this was an exciting drop that just happened this week. And most of us are looking forward to seeing what they all look like once they drop later on this month. But once again, Twitter is a space that a lot of NFT collectors, builders, developers, investors look to to find information, more update information about NFTs. So here is the official Aku Discord channel called Aku World. And you can get access to the Discord via OpenSea or Nifty Gateway. They'll have links to the website the Discord, and some of the other social media handles. So if we go here to the, this is the Akutar Mint Pass that was just dropped this week. 
And as you see here, you have the link to the website, the Discord, as well as the Instagram. So we're going to go back to the Discord currently. And another place that you want to go to make sure that you're going to the official links because there are a lot of scams out there and you want to make sure that you're getting your information. And if there's anything related to minting or receiving airdrops or buying or selling or trading a particular collection, you definitely want to make sure that you're on the correct site. So you always want to make sure that you check the official links. So here, there are a number of different channels in the Discord. Official links is normally a channel that you'll see in pretty much every project's Discord channel. So here we're going to go straight to the website. This is another way that you can also research the project is checking out the website. Obviously, you don't want to use that as your only barometer, but it does give you an idea of how much you know they have decided to put into the website in terms of presentation, as well as it gives you more information about what the collection is, what is it about, and if there's a roadmap and if there's any more information regarding the creators or the team, you can usually find it on the website. So as you can see here, it's a pretty cool little website showing Aku in what looks to be a spaceship. And their motto is, is that they're building worlds around dreams. So Aku is the first ever digital explorer whose confidence and ingenuity have him on a mission to prove that no dream is too big and no obstacle is too large. So as you can see, there's a picture of Micah. We love supporting artists of color. And Aku was released just over a year ago and it's done quite well over the past year. And so this is where you can find out more information about Aku and the media and press that the character has received. They also are going to be, um, they have already been optioned for a movie. So that's another thing that the team is working on outside of this Akutar drop. They're also working on a motion picture film. So we believe this is a project that has legs and will likely have value in time, particularly since there will be more access to them in popularity once the motion picture comes out. Here's a few more pictures of the upcoming Akutars. Very creative. They've worked with a really great team on putting this together. So we're really excited about the Akutar drop once um, they take that snapshot. So another way that you can research a project is also just doing a basic Google search. So as you can see here, you have his Twitter handle and some of his tweets. You can find out a little general information here. And then it'll go into more articles and the Nifty Gateway link, videos. There's been a fortune piece on him, Hype Beast as well. So you can see that there's been some press, a lot of people who have been interested in Micah and what he's doing with Aku, as well as the Aku character. So exploring this Aku world, there's many ways to get information about this particular project. So you wanna make sure that you're diving deep into these projects and diving deep into the teams. We believe, you know, trying to find a NFT that is more than just a profile picture, something that's going to bring a little bit more to the table is what we are looking for. And so it's very important that you just make sure that you do as much research as possible and do your due diligence. But look how cool these Akutars look. We're really excited. We think they look amazing. They don't look really like anything else in the NFT space that I've seen. So it's going to be really exciting to see which one people receive in their wallets at the end of this month. So you can tell that they put a lot of effort into this process. So we'll go through one more example. Another NFT that we're particularly interested in is the RISE token. Now, as we've talked about in our What Are NFTs 
video, there are different types of NFTs. There's not just the profile picture projects, but there's also projects by artists who do one of ones. There's also membership tokens. And this particular project is a membership token. So basically you can become a part of a membership where it's a group of collectors and investors. And as you can see here, you would belong to the Rise Collector Club, which aims to build a thriving community of collectors who buy from and support black artists, onboard new black collectors into NFTs, and support the career growth of black NFT artists. So this is definitely up our alley, something we're always interested in learning more about. So here, once again on OpenSea, usually with a particular collection, you can get links to the official websites and social media channels, but you also have to be very careful once again to make sure that you're on the right page and on the legitimate page for that project. We are now on the blacknftart.co website. This is the official website for the RISE token. So you can learn more information about the RISE Collectors Club. And as you can see, there are media and community brand empowering black people in the NFT space through content, promotion, and events. And we love things like this. And we hope to connect with the folks over there at Black NFT Art because we're all about connecting and networking and learning as much as we can about Web3 and NFTs as well as cryptocurrency. We look forward to connecting with everyone over there at Black NFT Art and the Rise Collectors Club because we want to do our part as well in networking and supporting each other as we learn as much as we can about Web3 and cryptocurrencies and investing in some amazing creators as you can see here. So we just want you to understand that it's very important to make sure that you do your research, do your due diligence, take your time. We're still very early in this space. We want to take you with us on our journey together and hopefully we can connect and be able to give each other tips and tricks as we move forward in learning as much as we can about this amazing technology and this very interesting space. So thank you so much for tuning in. We look forward to connecting with you soon. And in the meantime, take care. Bye-bye.